swell night, isn't it? Look at that moon. Oh, it sure is. <laughs> You're a funny kid. Why? I don't know. Things you say. I'm glad you came along. Why? You seem kind of different from all the West somehow. I know you think I'm crazy. But it seemed as though the first time I saw you, something happened to me inside.
2000. Um, I think I'll probably be the spaceships and the moon dictating robots to robots, or else I may be, I don't know, having a, in charge of a robot court, judging some robots. Or I may be at the funeral of a computer.
I'd better get you on your no, way. No, no, I, I can sit here like this with you. And it isn't so bad. I see. Do you? Are you crying, Mitch? A little bit. Mostly for you and me right now, I guess. Yes? Listen to me.
It's over there. I told you go.
What's your name? Just through a narrow wood we came on the farm. A long, low, stone-built house with casement windows. And a farmyard where pigs and fowls and an old mare were straying about. And in front, an old orchard of apple trees just breaking into flower. She's like a flower. A wild flower you come upon unexpectedly in the wood. A bit poetic for me, but I see your point. But what about you? That is, if you don't mind being left alone. As a matter of fact, I shall like it. Nothing to do but dream and watch spring on a farm. I've always wanted to do that. Well, good luck, dear. Oh. You're beautiful with those clusters of pink blossoms in your dark hair. <laughs> You're very, very sweet. You too? Come here tonight. Promise. I promise.